I was experimenting a little bit with um, and looking and touching and I realized that the video display I see gets quite warm, not to say hot. So I used a soldering iron and, and um, actually I, I wasn't sure. I was thinking that one of the memory I see is below of it. I, I learned where they are properly installed. I was completely wrong because I managed. Uh, I, I just took the video without thinking in before, in in advance, and I warmed up the memory I see, which are sitting below. But now it's getting worse. Yeah, yeah, it's it's getting worse in here. It looks like this, and so so I have. Uh, was, uh, I was thinking maybe it's clever. Maybe it's clever to um, look a little bit more structured, but this is just my intention. Please don't think that this movie will be structured. This one here is the data sheet, is the programming manual, is the programming manual for video display processors uh, from Texas Instruments. I was thinking. Uh, and at the end of this programming manual, they, I found the pinout. Uh, it was quite heavy to find the pinout diagram in the internet without this book. So there are four types of video display ICs listed or referenced in this book. A 9118 and then a 9128, 9129 and we have the 9129 so this is our IC on here and then there are some additional 9918 and 9928 and 9929A and there is a small comment only pins 35 to 38 are the only pins which vary for each device so these are always these, this small portion below the XTAL connections on here, it seems that this is the type of output. However, I am not familiar with uh, this R Y Y B A X V D P com with. I don't know what this means. This is. Um, it depends if it's S video output or whatever or R G B. I don't have any clue. But I'm happy that I, I know actually which numbers correspond to which type of connection. Uh, and, and on here I set up my small oscilloscope I bought a few years ago. When, when I was thinking I need to build a own Z180 microprocessor, it's, it's not finished yet today. But you know, this is a long life project. And what we will do, I will, I will use a probe. This probe on here, uh, the ground is connected to this cable, but on the other side, I connected the ground of the oscilloscope from the second probe. So I will use this probe on here and, and probe a little bit. And, and we will have a look what we can see. And, and, uh, and this is maybe an, an idea to, to get. Uh, oh, yeah, the IC gets really hot. Oh, okay, I'm rush. I don't understand why they haven't put a heat sink on. Or maybe this is the reason for this malfunction. Maybe there is something which is shortening something. So let's have a look. At pin 1, at our IC pin 1. It's RAS inverted somehow. So this seems to be, I don't know what it is. I think it's a memory control thing, right? It's a memory control thing. And we have here oh, AC coupling, no DC coupling, right? We want a DC couple. So on here, you can see the small letter of two. This is channel two, and this is the ground potential of the two. Yeah, let's increase that. And we have one volt per division. So one, two, three, four something volts. 
we can even put a cursor on so sorry cursor voltage and you can put on here where are we here here we are above uh, a little bit oh only 3.6 volts actually you see this on here this line on, on there let's put this down to zero or something so so zero so we have here delta 3.6 volts huh? so this is so this is a trigger level so 3.6 volts but okay I will I will write this down I will write this down so we have a pin one pin one the RA signal inverted from zero to three point six volts. Yeah, um, it should be actually enough to to uh, show other ICs the corresponding logic level. Uh, the, the, the 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 threshold is a little. I think it's about three volts, right, or one point five volts or something. I, I don't know, but the threshold is one point eight. So. It looks quite, quite, quite good. Okay, so and and if we want to measure the frequency of this one here, let's put, oops, let's put on here one cursor and put the second cursor for the first one to here. Then we see a delta of 2.7 megahertz. So yeah. So, so on here up 2.7 megahertz. Uh, 2.6, 2.7 megahertz. Let's write it down. We have a pulse, right? About 2. Point, what did I say? 7 megahertz. Megahertz. Wow. Okay, that's good. Okay. 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 So let's go to the CAS signal, CAS, the second signal. Aha, uh -huh, there is something on here. Okay. Is this cable enough? To, no, it's not right. That's the middle. So on here, this is the pin number two. It shows also quite the same thing. So on here is something leaving, right? But it could be it could be that um, that the RA signal and the CAS signal. Let's try to put both probes on. So this one, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is because I don't have a ground connection anymore, right? Let's see, where can I find an other ground thing? I don't know if this is ground. Can I use this? No, I'm not sure. Can I use this? Yeah, okay, so I found an other ground position. And I will also hold now in the second pin and probe. I see because I have two probes. And this is the, the orange one. And and we see now the the orange, no, the yellow one and the I don't know what this color is. P purple. Yeah. Uh, the purple one is on pin two. This is the CAS CAS signal. And and I don't know which one I'm triggering. Doesn't matter, right? Let's trigger it on source number one. Push my level. No, not some other one. Let's see. Oh, das war schon, nee, das war schon richtig. Und hier. So. Um, clean up these things on there. So, also here, menu off, okay, so, 
So these are two is sig signals, and, and we see that the RAS and the CAS signals are phase shifted because they have some some different jobs. I don't, we, uh, so you you do me not I'm not <laughs> I don't know in which which function this is. I think this is these are the refreshing things for the mem for the in memory ICs. I don't know if this is wrong or or bad or good, but I know something is living something is living yeah and this is okay this is okay yeah? Yeah? and there are also from the amplitude quite the same there are just time shifted these two signals this is okay so i will take out again the purple one and we will continue with the yellow one and then pin 3 is something data line right you will just make one uh, and and yeah, you know, single shots and on here. So th these are these are some data. Yeah. However, I don't know what. Can I here oben trigger so a bit? Yeah. So so on here we we see something some logic. Yeah. This is from the address line seven. Yeah, you make it continuous, and it's difficult to, to see I, because I it cannot find you know it's too fast yeah so we need to make a single shot and then we can look at it or something like this so we can take them out so these are some, some bits on on here it's are running around whatever they mean yeah whatever they mean it doesn't matter interesting it is to know where we see at which pins of the IC if we see live or not. So we are at pin 3 is the address line AAD7. So let's go to the next one. Pin 4 also live live on here, also live. Okay. Also pin 5. Okay. Pin 6. Okay. Pin 7. Okay. Oh, this looks much better somehow, right? This looks a little noisy, and this looks much better. What is this? Pin 7, eh? This looks much better, right? And, aha, uh -huh, this looks much better. I oh, know, okay, I'll oh, try English, okay. But, but this is um, this is a, a trigger issue or something, or maybe actually there's something uh, over long term oscillating somehow. You see, you see this. This looks a little bit weird, but I don't know what this means. But it could also be that on some specific points the the ground level is shifted up somehow. Yeah. I know this this is just this logic high state. Yeah. And and you see small small things which goes down. So other parts of the circuitry are pulling something. So the supply rail drops a little bit. I think this is what what, what we see here. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, pin 8, okay, pin 9, okay, pin 10, okay, uh, so, pin 11 is a read-write signal thing, uh, okay, where's my trigger, aha, uh -huh. aha, uh -huh. Okay. This is the pin eleven read write. 
This is where this thing is outputting a read and write signal, or gets it actually. This looks weird. Let's try to trigger. Boom. So we, this is weird. So the read-write signal ping. Stimmt das, was ich da erzähle? Hey, dann zack. Pin 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ja, indeed. Pin 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pin 11 looks like this. Okay. Pin 12 is VSS. And this is ground. This is ground. This is the ground. And we see here, if you would now, we don't need to sample so much. But if we if we now AC couple at the ground potential and if we increase right, AC. And if we increase, then we see the noise. Yeah. We have now 100 millivolts per division. Yeah. And we have from this is zero, about two boxes, so 200 millivolts down. So, so, yeah. so plus minus 200 millivolts noise at the supply rail, also and also on the ground level. On here, yeah. so, but this is maybe still okay for this. PCs for these machines. So, coupling with this is now. Okay, so let's go. So, and this next is, I don't know. So, this next is here. Also, some signal, also something living. Yeah, but but it's okay. It it seems to leave something. Yeah. However, I'm not sure what this is read write signal, why this is so bad. So, then pin 16. Okay. This is a nice one, huh? You see this one here. Wie schnell ist eigentlich mit meinem Trigger? Trigger? Nee, Rising. Rising. Where is the level? Ah, hier ist der Level. Von hier. Okay. Okay. The Rising Edge. So, this pin I am looking at is... Oh Gott, eins. So, Fifteen. Fifteen. CSR. Okay. And the fifth from under. One, two, three, four, five. This one here is the interrupt line. Interrupt. This looks super actually, right? Yeah. You have two volts per division. Yeah. Two volts per division. Yeah. Two volts per division. However, ne, as these are two volts per division, um, there are curses. Oops, scheiße. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. So, let's move a cursor. On here. So it's it's 3.6 volts. Yeah. These are not 5 volts, these are just 3.6 volts. I don't know if this is something wrong. Or it or is the power supply not good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So and now I will look at the last four pins which are C D. I don't know what C D is. C D and Okay, and there is something really weird, but it looks also something, I don't know if this is good or bad, 360 kilohertz it says, CD, 
I don't I don't understand what CD is. Anyway, so let's continue on here, just to see, uh, just to see if there is life on, yeah, or if a zero volt is seen at a pin which should actually carry something. So now we, I will go on the other side. This is the X time the crystal oscillator here, 10 megahertz it says. Okay, there's something maybe. CPU. Oh, no, this is an R minus Y. I don't know what this is. R minus Y. I don't know what this means. I don't, I don't, I don't know what this is. This is one of these outputs for video, these video outputs which differs from ICs to ICs. Okay. And this one looks, looks weird, right? Ah no, ah, this is our video signal, I think. Look at this. This is one video signal. This is a video signal. Yeah, so we see here something like video, something. Huh? And this is clear that there is a video signal. Otherwise, you would not see anything in our screen, right? So, and now it's a little bit difficult because the. Because on here this small PCB overlaps a little bit and uh, so just for if you have forgotten the pin out <laughs> I will help you to remember <laughs> so okay uh, also on here this one here 9129 and we passed now these signals on here can you see the mouse on there this one here here there's a small mouse on there we passed this one. It was interesting that uh, this interrupt line. We no, was it interrupt line? No, the read write line. The read write line. Pin everyone. We could not see any pulses. This is weird. I don't know if there's there's something. If this is connected to somewhere to 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 the memories. To the memory I see. I don't know. And now we have seen the frequency on here, all right, Y, BY, reset sync, and then the supply 33. Let's check the supply pin on there. And then I don't know if I will manage to put my probe on to this one here to get an idea what's happening. And these are just ideas uh, and for documentation. After I, I will replace and the memory I see is okay. you say my snakes or my I will see more snakes here, these here, these and these minus few volt yes there there is nothing Yeah, um, I'm, I, I cannot touch properly, I think. Oder? Da verarsche ich mich jetzt gerade. Ja, no, hier das, und hier ist der, ist der, so. So. So, let's go back here. Ah. So we don't see anything. I'm on the address lines and now I'm on the CD on the right side. And there is nothing. But we are sure that we are measuring, right? Yeah, yeah, we are measuring, okay. Okay, so it seems that 
from here no signal is rd1 to rd7 well r0 and cd0 on here so this side is not correct somehow working but I don't understand these lines I don't know what this is what's this let's have a look CPU to BDP interface so address on here can you see the mouse address grass grass this is the video I see okay and on here are also data lines on the left side to the microprocessor this is this is a CPU here this 99996 whatever and this is the video display so there are two sides of and there's a video output okay and these are the memory ICs the video RAM I will show you afterwards um, I have found something interesting but maybe you are aware of that uh, so please be patient I will tell you something very interesting something revolutionary uh, revolutionary information yeah anyway so the, the, the thing is now this one here um, if I somehow it's, dark. it's getting dark getting dark so uh, anyway so I have bought um, SC sockets I just need two of those and I will unsolder ah hello you know, let's let's turn this off and I will show you so on here this is the video display I see and I figured out that these two ones which are soldered straight onto the motherboard these are such two ICs the video RAM on here and, and these two need to be exchanged by the ones I have bought as a replacement and, and I hope they look, look very ugly. I hope I have not been cheated. I hope I have not been cheated, cheated, tricked. Because this looks, you see, there is soldering on. The solder is still there. So they are not new. And maybe they are also broken, right? You see that there is solder thing on. So it's a good, good tactic <coughs> that I want to use this one. I will put them in on here, on here, and then I can put the the spare ones into here in. Oh, I even managed to count the pin numbers correctly. You know. So, okay, so I will now open this thing, I will unsolder these things and put the IC sockets. Okay, I hope it's not so boring as the last one. See you. Also, see you is just for me, you know, while, when I will cut the video huh, afterwards.